welcome back to Junk Junkies. Uh, today we are, I guess, together reviewing our dun -dun -dun, new Ford F-350. one-ton single rear wheel Ford Power Stroke. Uh, we had a three-quarter ton 2015 Dodge Ram uh, with the Cummins. It was a great truck. Decided to try something new. So this is what we ended up getting. The 2019 F350 had a few features that we liked over the other brands, even though we aren't really brand loyal and we, we like all of them really. They all had their positives and negatives and all that sort of stuff, and I think they all make a great vehicle. I know some people are very brand loyal. We aren't. So we thought, let's give the Ford a shot. Yeah. Some of the things that we like. Uh, Kara, go ahead and start us off with what you like in it first. <laughs> well, it's uh, close to home for me. Growing up, living with a father and Ford dedicated. <laughs> he was very happy we bought a Ford. <laughs> I got in, and I'm like, oh, sounds like a Ford. And, um, yeah, very smooth. Uh, I mean, it is a one-ton, so it does have a little bit of a tank feel when you go over a few things or in the dips and things like that. But um, seats are super comfortable. And uh, They uh, redesigned the interior on the, I think it was about in 2017 they started redesigning. And I like the new redesign of the Ford with... It shares the cab of the F-150, gives more leg room. They redid the dash setup. It just feels way more modern than the old ones. They got rid of a lot of the hard plastics, and they leather wrapped, you know, and that sort of stuff, which gave it a more modern look and a little bit cleaner look, more luxurious, I guess, rather than as much of a utilitarian, you know, work truck look. I will agree with that, yes, definitely. The 2019 that we got, it has the Sync 3 system. So we have Apple CarPlay and all that stuff going, and, which works great. We didn't get the navigation system because our phones have navigation on them, really. Um, and it was a lot more money. And we got kind of a lower package, so it doesn't have all those things. It's, what, missing the moonroof, really? Yeah, the sunroof, moonroof, <laughs> it doesn't have. It doesn't have a heated steering wheel, which Kara's still very disappointed on. Uh. So those other features we really didn't need. We weren't missing anything with from those, so... Yeah, and it saved us a few thousand dollars. Yeah. Some things I really do like on this is the 360-degree cameras. It has cameras everywhere. We all didn't think we had needed a backup camera until we got one. And now Ford has done 360-degree cameras all over this thing. So we have camera here. Then on the back side of the cab, we have a camera right up here for when you're hooking onto your fifth wheel so you can see inside the bed of the truck. Back here, we have two cameras. We have one for your hook, hooking on, seeing your ball, and one right here as your backup camera. Then over on this side, another one on the mirror. And to fi finish it off, one right up here on the front for when you're pulling in that stall and you just don't know how much closer you can get. The engine on this truck is the 6.7 liter Power Stroke. It has something like 440 horsepower and 900 and whatever foot-pounds of torque, 920, I think. Uh, you understand which, all that better than 
which is great for towing our trailer. It has a, more than our Ram had. It had our Ram had like 350 and then 680 or something like that foot pounds of torque because we didn't have the ice and transmission in the Ram. So we did like jumping up in horsepower and torque a little bit. We could have got the Ram with the ice and it still would have had lesser horsepower, but it's about the same amount of torque. The payload on this truck is increased over our last truck. It's like 3,100 uh, payload. And our gross vehicle weight rating on this truck is 11,500. Our old truck was 10,000 and a payload of 2180 or 76 or something like that. The mirrors are great on this. They are power extendable and retractable, plus they fold in um, automatically. So there's no reaching out, flipping them up, turning them in, any of that sort of stuff. So we went away from our traditional white. Our last three trucks. Three vehicles have been white, so no one will recognize us now. This is the brand new color Ford has introduced for 2019. It is the Silver Sage. So you can kind of tell a little silver and a little bit of sage, depending on the lighting where you're at. Sometimes it gives almost a gold hue, sometimes a gray hue, the silver, the sage. Of course, depending on the lighting, each time it gets a little bit different. Yeah. But which is something that Ford's been doing with its paint for the past few years. Yes. Kara's mom's truck has a grizzly brown and sometimes it's black and sometimes it's brown. Sometimes it looks purple. And then I think her dad's is the Fireburst Red or something like that. And it looks different. So I really like what Ford's been doing with their paint schemes. Yes. We like the black interior as well just because it stays clean. Black leather. It seems just to stay cleaner than the white leather. It doesn't stain as bad. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it has its drawbacks by being hotter, but, I mean, you have the seat coolers, and, I mean, it'll cool down, you know, pretty fairly quickly with having the black. So I'm going to tell you about the interior. Um, obviously, I'm in the back seat. Lots and lots of room. I am 5'3", but... I can almost fully extend, granted I was driving so there will be a little bit less room, but um, you know we've had people in the back seat that are much taller and there's been ample amounts of room for them and their legs. Other nice features about the back seat, air vents. Not all the models have these really nice air vents as well as three different power sources. So whatever device you may have, you've got a power source. Not only that, but you've got cup holders here as well as cup holders here. Not too sure how well these are going to work out, but these are a good go-to on the front console. Uh, so rear storage in the back seat uh, is a little bit different than what we are used to with the Dodge. A nice thing in this back seat is the storage bin. This can be collapsed, but you have to take everything out. But it's got really great storage. Um, you can have little dividers so things don't slide. It is a rubber bottom which is nice because it like really grips things and keeps them in place. Other interior features of this vehicle are, uh, I mean, it's got a really nice area right here, which is always nice that you have something that, you know, within distance, you have your drinks, you have just a miscellaneous little bin that you can put glasses and phones and cords and change and whatever else which is nice. Um, the console here does have a bottomless pit, I will warn you. It is so a, much stuff a deep hole down in here. So that'll be a real junk mess, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, but also has extra cup holders. There's more cup holders for the passengers on the back.
The F-350 that we got came with 20 inch wheels. We left the 20 inch wheels on because they look pretty good. But I changed out the tires from the Michelins to the Toyo Open Country All Terrains. I just like having a little bit more aggressive tire uh, for snowmobiling and all that sort of stuff in the winter. And just in case you ever need it. It does make it a little bit louder going down the road, but we've always had good luck with the Toyos, so that's what we have put on this. This vehicle for being a diesel is really quiet. Diesels have come a long way. <laughs> yeah. A long way in getting more and more quiet. Um, So even with the hood open, you can hear how quiet this thing is. Just in general, it's speaking, and I mean, you're not competing with your radio. Standing outside by it, you know, drive through ordering, all of those things come in play when driving a diesel and the quietness of it. Yeah, do you want to pull up the decibel meter on the phone? Let's see what's oh, up. Oh, let's see. Since we have a decibel meter app on the phone, we might as well check and see what our decibels are at. If I can decibel meter. Charge this up for you. Okay. We are balancing between Yeah, so you can see it is relatively quiet. Um, the radio is off. It's just road noise right now. Yeah. And really, you don't hear the engine at all. On our Ram it was really quiet as well but you still heard that Cummins kind of churning away a little bit. Right. So, One thing that I really wanted was the fifth wheel prep kit already installed in the truck. This one has a bed liner in it, a nice Rhino line bed liner. And it's already pre-wired for my fifth wheel plug right over here. It has tie down hooks built in with little slide in things which is kind of nice as well. <laughs> Our final overall uh, view on this vehicle is it'll take a little bit of adjusting yep. and new things, new features, getting a feel for it, things like that, especially for myself. Um, I feel that it's a hair bigger than what I'm used to. Um, but, you know, it's just uh, get in it, get used to it. I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, so far so good. This is not a review by any means because we have 312.3 um, miles on it. <laughs> so it's not broken in. It's not, I mean, there's still a lot to come for this truck. So, but this is our initial feelings towards it. Yes. So far, so good. Yes. We really like it so far. Thanks for watching and listening to us ramble on about <laughs> our perspective on the new vehicle. We're a little excited. We're a little excited, yes. So it's exciting to get something new. First new truck ever. Yeah, like first new, new, new vehicle we've had together. So, um, yeah, like, subscribe. Feel free to share your input, what you've seen in yours, you know. If there's any add-ons that you would do. Yeah, add-ons for you guys. Yeah, let us know. If there's something you'd want to know about it, let us know as well. Because we'll more than gladly be an open book on what happens with this truck. We aren't trying to hide anything. Right. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay, Enjoy thanks. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.